Salut Denzel et bienvenue dans la leçon de la semaine. Welcome to this midweek lesson once again. And we hope you are doing well because we are about to kick off and of course get into the class seriously. In our last lesson, we obviously look at vocabulary words and phrases related to the different themes which we saw from the textbook. The main important themes included Halloween, l'action de grâce, which is Thanksgiving, as well as le coquelicot, the poppy flower. We looked, of course, at how to make simple sentences using je suis and adding on those vocabulary words from those different themes. You obviously performed very well and we're happy about that. Now, today, we are going to switch on a little back to Rita to again help improve your pronunciations for most words. That's the reason why we're here. And of course, we're going to get to episode three, which is what we have on the screen here, titled Rita A. Trist. Can you repeat? Rita A. Trist. Very good. And what does that mean? The sentence Rita A. Trist simply means Rita is sad. And of course, in the course of this episode, we shall practice the A sound, which you can see right here. This is the A sound. And the A sound can be seen from this first E with the A sound graph, with the second E, A sound circumflex, with the ES, with the EST, with the AI, and of course with the EI. So all of them are pronounced A. Now, back to the story. We realize that from the picture, Rita is really, really sad. I mean, who wouldn't be since she lost her ball? She's been searching for the ball for quite a while now. And of course, she still not be able to find it, even with the help of Mario. Now, Rita is having a flashback memory of how she received that ball, just as you can see from the picture. And it's obvious that her grandma gave it to her. And clearly, she is disappointed that she lost the gift given to her by her grandma. Of course, it's not always a good thing to do. And we have her cat, who feels a little sympathy for her. And of course, it feels bad that Rita is down and the cat says something. What does the cat say? Repeat the sentence after me. Rita est très triste. Rita est très triste. Je vais l'aider. Je vais l'aider. All right. What a beautiful cat and what a caring cat. So when he says Rita est très triste, et both we just saw what Rita est triste means. And I'm sure you still remember what it means, right? All right, good. So the fact that we added très here simply means very. We are trying to show a little more impact on the fact that she's not just sad, but she's really, really sad. So Rita is very sad or Rita is really sad. It has a sentence, Rita est très triste. And the next one, je vais l'aider, I will help her. So the cat, of course, is offering to help Rita out to do what? Can you guess what the cat is trying to help Rita with? To search the ball. Good job. All right. Now we're going to look at sentences below to get to understand a little more about what's happening, of course, from this picture. So you're going to repeat the sentences after me. Let's go. Rita est très triste. Elle est assise près de Zaza. Elle a perdu sa balle verte. Celle que sa grand-mère lui avait offerte pour ses six ans. Very good. Let's take it again one more time. Rita est très triste. The first sentence. Second sentence. Elle est assise près de Zaza. Next sentence. Elle a perdu sa balle verte. Next. Celle que sa grand-mère. Next. Lui avait au fait pour ses six ans. 
Very good. Excellent. Good reading skills. So now, looking at the sentences, can you tell us what the first sentence means? Because I'm sure you're not stranger to those words. Again, particularly the first one. We already saw that. What does Rita et Retrist means again? We just saw the cat saying that above. Brilliant. Of course, that's just to say Rita is very sad. Next sentence. Elle est assise près de Zaza. This means she is seated close to Zaza. And we can see that, of course, from the picture. Zaza is the name of the cat. So she is seated next to Zaza. So take note of the words assis and prédu. Assis, seated, to be seated. And of course, prédu means near, by, or close to. All right, next sentence. Elle a perdu sa balle verte. All right, so a perdu here is a verb to lost in the past tense. Of course, we're going to say lost. What about sabal? Obviously, sabal is her ball. And of course, you know what vet is. Which color is that? The green. Well done. So what does that sentence mean? Elle a perdu sa balle vet. She lost her green ball. Perfect. Well done again. Now, let's move on to sentence number four. Celle que sa grand-mère Celle que sa grand-mère, celle here means that which, that which. And what are we talking about here? We're talking about the ball, that which her grandma, that which her grandma, that is the sentence, celle que sa grand-mère. And of course, like I said again, the cell here refers to the ball. So take note as well. So what about her grandma? The next sentence now we understand what Rita it's really trying to tell us right here, like the reason why she's very angry. So the sentence, the previous sentence continues below. Celle que sa grand-mère lui avait offert pour ses six ans. That which her grandma had offered her for a sixth year birthday. Or for a sixth birthday celebration. So it means this ball was obviously given to Rita as a birthday present. You can see that from the picture. You can see Rita, of course, wearing the birthday cat. Of course, indicating that she's a birthday girl. And you can see a birthday cake just beside, as well as a gift. And you can see Grandma offering the ball to Rita. And of course, she really arranged the ball. She parceled it into a beautiful gift. And that's the reason why Rita is so, so angry with herself by the fact that she lost something so precious because, you know, whatever is being given to you by grandma as well as your parents is always special and we try as much as possible to always keep it safe. So that is the main reason why Rita is super sad and, of course, mad at herself. And, of course, in the course of that lesson, you obviously notice that we've read some words which have the air sound in them. For example, in the first sentence, we have the EST, which of course we pronounce E, Rita E. And then after that, we have TRE. You still get the E sound with this E a sound graph. A sound circumflex, sorry. And then we have the next sentence, LE. Again, we have the E sound. PRE DE, ZAZA. On PRE DE, again, we have the E sound on PRE. Next sentence, elle a perdu sa balle verte. Again, we have the air sound right here. And of course, we have the air sound in a perdu as well. We still get the air sound in those two words. Next sentence, celle que sa grand-mère. Again, right here on celle, we have the air sound. On que, it's true that we have letter E, but it's not pronounced E. Remember when we say celle que. The Q here doesn't have the air sound, so we have the air sound just on cell, as well as me for grand me. Like we said again, the sentence means that which was offered to her by her grandma. And then, of course, in the last sentence, we have au fait, which has the air sound, as well as se, which has the air sound. 
So that is the main focus of this lesson for you to be able to perfectly pronounce and read out sentences in French which make use of these air sounds. To be noted, the air sound doesn't come just from letter E. The E we're talking about in question is this E with the accent circumflex, which is of course the accent facing to the right. And then we have the accent graph, and of course we have EST, we have ES, we have AI and EI. So whenever you see them in any words, make sure you pronounce them as what? A. Très bien. And this is where we draw the curtain to today's lesson. We're obviously going to meet up next Sunday for the live session, where again, we're going to put this, of course, into practice. And God bless. Watch a video to cement this lesson. So we wish you a wonderful day and a wonderful week ahead. Have a lovely weekday. And we'll catch you, of course, next Sunday for the live session. Il est le décès du au revoir et à bientôt. So let's say au revoir. Au revoir. See you on Sunday. Rendez-vous dimanche prochain. Bye-bye.